Hey, what's up? It's Andy Fogarty from theathomewelder.com, and I'm here today for kingmetals.com, and in this episode of our Back to Basics MIG welding series, we're going to go over how to weld thin sheet metal to thicker pieces of metal. A lot of times, the problem is trying to get the heat just right, because you need to get that great penetration to get through that thick metal, but how do you do that without just completely annihilating the thin sheet that you have? So today I'm going to show you how to weld those two together and have a great bond between them. Here's a great example of well having to weld some thin material to some much thicker material. We come into this a, a lot with having to use expanded metal and other materials a lot like this, um, especially when building trailers. You know, you're you're welding to a much thicker frame and trying to not just melt away this expanded metal. I know a lot of you have had this problem. Now, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna, obviously we have to burn hot enough to be able to have good penetration on the thicker material. And you can see, uh, for my example here, I've got some pretty thick material. Uh, I easily would burn, just melt this expanded metal away. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna focus our weld pool all on this thicker material because it's gonna take the brunt of the heat. It, it can handle it, whereas the expanded metal can't. So once we have everything started here on this thicker material and we see the puddle and we can move the puddle, we're just gonna kind of push it over real quick and then come back. So we're just gonna basically create a wave, basically, of metal and fold it over onto the expanded metal and let that take care of it. That's all we're gonna do. We're not gonna put uh, the full force of the gun on the metal because as soon as we do that, it's just gonna melt it away like butter. It'll just evaporate, melt into a nice little ball of slag that you'll have to clean off. And you might have to take some, uh, do this in small little sections and little spots because if you keep going, obviously that heat is gonna transfer on down the piece and eventually your expanded metal will get too hot and it will start to melt away as soon as you touch it with that little uh, molten wave that we're gonna create. So let me show you how to do this. All right, so you can see I've got good penetration going on. And see, we just kind of lapped it on over and everything is stuck together. Didn't melt away the expanded metal at all. It's beautiful. Now let's see what happens if we just focus everything on the expanded metal itself. All right, so you can see, uh, we it did weld it. I mean, yeah, that's true, it is stuck together, but you can see how it's already started to melt away some of these little pieces here, you can see in there. So it's not like this over here where everything is nice and smooth and it's stuck together. There's you know, it, it's a complete weld. Over here, it's just kind of spotty. And is any kind of pressure is put on this expanded metal, so especially if this is used for a trailer and people are walking on it, uh, this is gonna break. There's just, there's no doubt about it. That, that Those little pieces are just not gonna be strong enough to hold this on there. Okay, so in this example, I used expanded metal, but this is the same case for any kind of metal that you're using. So if you're just using thin sheet or any, anything like that, anytime you're welding, thinner material to much thicker material, this is the method that you're gonna use. Focus all of your heat and your weld pool on that thicker material and sort of lap it over onto the thinner material. And that's how you're gonna get a nice clean weld and not burn through your material. So I hope that answers your questions and I hope that makes things a lot easier for you in the future. Now if you have any questions about anything at all that has to do with welding, design, anything like that, please feel free to ask them in the comments below and we will try to answer them as soon as we can in an upcoming episode. Now, if you want more great tips and tricks like this, come on over to theathomewelder.com, sign up for MIG Welding 101. It's gonna give you the five basic cornerstone techniques of MIG welding, but more than that, it's gonna sign you up for weekly tips and tricks on how to speed up the process, make things a lot easier for you, and also how to make some good money doing this welding stuff on the side. It's a lot of fun and a great way to get paid. So I'm Andy Fogarty and I will see you again next time.